Are you still drawing on boring ass rectangles? Well, stop it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set your mother game up with a jigsaw. The jigsaw and MDF. Super cheap. It's probably like, like $10 out of the Home Depot Lowe's. So let's get it. First of all, I want to brag about how dope I feel and how professional I feel using this paintbrush microphone, all right? This is kind of dope, all right? I love doing this shit. I feel like a motherfucking MC. But yeah, y'all saw here first, folks, all right? Just take your ass to Home Depot or Lowe's, a jigsaw, and a piece of MDF. It's two feet by four feet. That's a hell of a deal, if you ask me. I'm sure I have a lot of age groups looking at this. No matter your age group, I don't care. Make sure you follow proper safety precautions, okay? I don't use, me personally, I don't use safety go 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 goggles because I'm blind as hell anyway. And you know what? My eyesight is doomed, you feel me? But yours isn't, okay? You can care about your eyesight, you're an artist, for real. So I just use my glasses and <laughs> hope for the best. If you're a kid, please get an adult. And if you're an adult like me, you might need an adult to your adult. Get a grown man, get a grown up, all right? Cause I'm not no grown up sometimes, I ain't gonna lie. So please, please, please stay safe when using power tools, okay? Cause it's dangerous. I, I've cut myself before, it wasn't too bad, it could've been worse. All you need is about $65. $50 for a good JSON. I've had mine for like three, four years now. I've had not one problem with it. If you ain't got 50 bucks, start a lemonade stand, go cut some grass, go shovel some snow, go pan if you need to, all right? I'm just joking. So with all that put in place, I'm gonna take you over here. Say hi to my other tripod. So since I'm clearly a Kung Fu master, I decided to go with the tiger, you know. Uh, I I have the tiger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm, you get it? Do you get it like I have the tiger? No? Okay. Hi guys. All right, so we have our sketch, we cut it out. Now, at this point, I will paint the edges because I hate doing that part. So I'll try to do it first, so that way I get out of the way. And then before I do that, I'm gonna seal in this red ink. I'm gonna use some gesso. You could use clear gesso, but I'm using white gesso because I already know that, 
I already know that once I put the white gesso over it, the red is still gonna shine through pretty well. I'm not too worried about that. So that way I'll still have my line work. So let's get started. Help. I'm sure a lot of y'all thinking to yourself, do I have to use gesso? Can I just paint directly on the surface? I'm gonna tell you not to do that because the whole point of gesso is to separate your paint from the surface. So most surfaces that are super absorbent and porous like MDF or wood, um, you wanna have a barrier in between those two because if the paint absorbs into it, it makes your colors way more dull and not vibrant. You do not want that because you have to use way more layers than you need to. So you can save on paint. And it's just, it's just all around a good idea. All right, y'all, we are finally in the home stretch. The gesso's completely dry. Only took like an hour and a half, two hours, something like that. All we gotta do is paint this bad boy and then varnish it, then we all done. All right, y'all, so that's the video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Y'all know what to do is YouTube. Y'all been here before. This is one of my favorite pieces I've done. I think it came out super dope. If you guys want to see more of my artwork, go to yourlocalartdealer.com. Also, just started a Patreon. I'm going to have tutorials, stickers, discounts, all that. So just check me out. I'll see you guys next week in the next video. Peace.